back to the channel. As you can see, Calypso is once again afloat for the season. We're about to start the 2021 season and we are on board today to finish up a few projects, which I will show you what we're doing. Stay tuned. <laughs> So I've muted the recorded audio because of some excessive wind noise, but the two projects that we're going to go over today are installing the backup camera and then installing um, some cup holders in our table. Now the reason we're putting in a backup camera is because Calypso has a blind spot and while I can look down the companionway there, um, it is difficult to see where I'm going when I back up, so we thought we'd put a camera in. The other project that we had hoped to work on was, as you can see in this table, it has four cup holders, but they're only about an inch deep there, so they don't really hold much of anything. So my plan was to drill out those holes and install these um, stainless steel cup holders that I have. I used a hole saw to start drilling when the battery died, but as you can see, the stainless steel cup holder will just drop in the hole and then I'll just use some silicone to hold it in place. And hopefully that should be a better solution. Um, not sure what happened with the drill, but we will replace that for next week. Oh, uh, I charged the pack and it didn't, it drilled enough to do one project, but it's not doing that. So uh, we will come back to this project, but let's just take a look at the backup camera. So what you, as you can see, the underneath the arch on the boat there is a, just a little nub and it's a little white nub that is the backup camera and what it is is our boat is equipped with Furuno electronics and Furuno does not actually make a backup camera unlike Ray Marine and Garmin who make backup cameras to fit their equipment Furuno does not so I looked around and I actually found a backup camera that you would put on your car it has a bird's eye view um, lens. And so what I did was yesterday when I was on board, there is a plate on the underside of the arch which was installed when the electronics were put in. And what I did, I took that plate off, I drilled a hole in the plate, and the camera is just attached with a single rod and a backing nut. I then got power for the camera, because the camera requires two things. It requires 12 volt power and it requires a single video feed into our um, MFD. So I got 12 volt power. You can see back up there, the stern light of our running lights is right behind it. So there was 12 volt power there. And what I did was, so I tapped into that line and then I had to run the cable through the arch all the way down. As you can see, there's some plates in the arch you can see there's a couple of plates and there's actually one behind behind here a couple of plates here take those plates off they were already there again as part of the original electronics install on calypso and i was able to fish the wire through and then all the way down here to if you take a look here the mfd which actually just press fits into the spot here and the MFD is designed to accept a video feed right there you can look in there see this yellow exactly the so I plugged the feed in there and so now let me just wipe off my my screen here so now when I turn on my running lights You can see I have, yeah, so you can see I now have a backup, including these lines which came with it. And those lines aren't, I didn't set them up, but you can see they're kind of set right to the swim platform. So now I can see as the boat backs in, it'll be able to, I can see the distance 
Um, so that's going to prove to be a real help. So while that wasn't too, it was a fairly inexpensive project, I will say that feeding that line through to, to along there was a little bit of a, a challenge. Now what I did use was a multi-part nine foot um, fishing rod. Not fishing rod is the kind of fish, but fishing is the kind of fish electrical wires through. And you can keep adding extensions on to it. And it's got a hook on one end. And I just moved it, worked it through down the side along with the other cables around and it fle it's flexible, it bends. I will put a link in the comments below to where I got that. I got that at Amazon, like I get most things. And also to the camera. It's a nice little camera, as I said, it was about $18, maybe a little bit more, but, and I painted it white, so it, it blends in, and that's gonna work out perfectly. E, e, this video is gonna be a little bit short today because we were, because the battery died on the, um, on the drill which we were going to drill out the holes on the table so we'll be back to you next week with that so remember if you like this type of doi content make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the bell to be notified when new videos come out and smash the thumbs up it really helps us out with the youtube algorithm we will see you next time